Yes, hello and welcome to another vlog from Benar Raida. Today, actually, uh, I wanted to go to the 100, uh, to the uh, spring of 100 uh, tubes, I think it's called, <laughs> and uh, I ended up here. Uh, I don't know if I'll go any further. I just wanted to test out my new micro mic setup here. It is fairly windy here at this point, so I'll see if it's very noisy. And I also have uh, my uh, the. Uh, Osmo Pocket att attached to my uh, selfie stick here. Um, I had to get one of these brackets there, of course. So hopefully, uh, I can barely see myself in the uh, in the on the screen now. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm in the frame or not. Um, I just wanted to see, you know, that the distance is a little bit better because uh, you know when I go like this, uh, I think you're just too close to me, and you know I don't like it when you're so close to me. <laughs> and I guess you know vice versa uh, anywho uh, I'm here at the one of these reservoirs here just before we go uh, head into the mountains um, yeah that's all I wanted to say for now and later on I will put on my cameras and uh, we'll go up the mountain there so let's go and have some fun And once again, hello to Benar Raida. Um, we're here at this reservoir once again, and we'll go up there, right there. I don't know if you can see this gap in the mountain. That's where the pass is. I think it's this gap. No, it's this gap over there. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's this gap over there. It's like a pass. We will go there, and then we go behind the mountains to these. Uh, to the spring of 100 cannons, uh, 100 tubes, <laughs> and yeah, so we go. Here we go. You can actually go along the reservoir here as well a little bit, but it's all the way this uh, gravel road, so I don't really like that. <laughs> so we will go up to the pass now, to the mountain pass. So, let's go up to the mountain pass. This is a very beautiful pass. I did this once already with my scooter. I don't know, two years ago or something. You can see actually the video right here. And um, we'll do this with the CB500X now. The 
also recording on the other camera I don't know and it's always a pain to set it up so I don't know if it's good or bad and uh, there's a little little teeny tiny village up there and at the pass uh, it's called uh, Ventas de Zafaraya uh, and uh, left to, uh, from it like to the west of it there's another teeny tiny village called Zafaraya so they're uh, similar in name at least and um, uh, in the old days they used to go up a steam train actually all the way up there and you can still see some of the tracks or you know where they used to be the tracks and uh, they actually have they have a, they have a narrow gauge kind of um, historic train going up there not up there but moving uh, you know being up there into you know not going up there but you know what I mean <laughs> and uh, anyways uh, but unfortunately this uh, train this historic train like goes uh, once every I don't know once or twice a year <laughs> so it's not really worth it to go there just because of the train because uh, I'm pre pretty sure that they're not going to go okay they say we have to go to the right no let's go to the left yeah this is a beautiful mountain road actually and uh, I wanted to go then to these uh, to go to what's going on here Can we go straight yeah um, and then we we'll go to these uh, the spring of the 100 tubes uh, apparently there's 100 water pipes coming out of the oh they have some free free for rent and rent for free houses here look at this they're all without any inhabitants and uh, I'm sure they're free no I'm sure they're not when you inquire that about them say yeah 150,000 euro or something <laughs> and ah, anyways I'm talking too much shit again it is actually very hot today it was 29 degrees when I left and I thought well maybe we can uh, actually escape the heat and go up uh, uh, into the mountains but it's not that much cooler here i think my uh, thermometer from the garmin doesn't work anymore i changed the battery already but maybe all the batteries are dead i don't know so i guess i have to buy new batteries you know how it is all these damn oh look at this road here it's like a serpentine kind of thing isn't it Looks that looks that way, but it's very pretty. And I hope there's not going to be a car driver bothering me from the behind. I hate this. There's a truck coming eventually here. I think I saw it already. Where are you, truck? Oh, so far away. Yeah, so there's also a teeny tiny ruin of a castle there where I also went before. So if you want to see this again, watch my other video. Unfortunately, this is in German, I think. I recorded this in German with the English subtitles. Oh yeah, I can see it from here already pretty nice vista point as well up there if you can see it here you have to go up there to the castle but we're not going to bother with that we're going to continue to the 100 water pipes Yeah, 
actually kind of scary when you look down there. Like, I'm not sure if I would be able to ride in the in the Alps because you know it's even more steep than it is here. just want to get rid of anyone behind us in case we have someone behind us but at the moment we don't just in case well, what is going on with these trucks there trucks and it smells like something is burning again or is that the clutches from the the clutches from the trucks maybe or is it my clutch <laughs> maybe it's my clutch no yeah this is freaking 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 beautiful here really i always look at the on the map and then okay i, I want to go i want to go okay i've been here but still when you come here it's 1000 times nicer than watching your past videos or watching it on youtube or google or whatever so the real thing is still the real thing you know so all this virtual reality, I don't know if that is any good. Oh yeah, the pass is coming up, but still some time to go. <laughs> I think it takes in total from the castle, which we passed already, about 15 minutes. So I guess I have to speed this up a little bit or else all my viewers will get pretty bored as usual. Oh, thank you very much, you stupid ass. <laughs> so, we can see the pass better already. And actually up there at the pass, we will be crossing into a different uh, province already from Spain or Andalusia which is called, I think it's Granada, I'm not sure <laughs> but I think it's, you know, it changes from Malaga to Granada Still pretty warm. Also should have worn my other my other jacket. I just thought maybe it's a little bit cooler so I can wear my lovely leather jacket here, which you can see here. It's really nice, but uh, it still is a little bit too warm actually for this weather. Although it's perforated from the perforator. Perforated from the perforator. Oh, 
Okay, there might be ice on the road, so watch out people. It is pretty scary to look down there. Pretty freaking scary. Where are all these trucks coming from? truck coming I saw it already no it's just a small teeny tiny van okay I think we're on the, our way directly to the pass now no more curves oh, these are not big ones yeah, and this time I won't be stopping there because we have some other business to do as I said watch my other video which I will put here or I have put already in the video <laughs> and you can see everything about Ventas de Zavaraya and it's very interesting oh well, look at this it is so cool okay here we go here's a parking and there's a little train when it runs but it doesn't run as I said usually and so welcome to yeah Granada Herzlich Willkommen in der Provinz Granada and here's this little train passing over so houses again for sale for whatever nobody wants them well, it's very deserted, I have to admit. What will you do here? They only have a gas station. I don't know if they have a supermarket. Oh, the trucks are coming from, maybe from Granada. What are they doing? So let's, this is Ventas de Zafaraya. Let's go to Zafaraya. And then we'll go to the 100 pipes. Okay, it's a little bit cooler up here. It must be maybe 900 meters or something. Not sure. 700 meters, 900 meters, something like that. In my lovely leather jacket, I don't really feel the, the cold, but... So which way? Oh, we have to go this way. Yeah, so end of Ventas de Zafaraya. Let's go to the pipes. They have tomatoes here. This looks like cabbage or something. 
tomatoes up here. Oh. Well, they have lots of sunshine, but not so much. Oh, they have corn. But they don't have so much warmth here. Corn, corn, corn. Metropolis Pub Cafe. Is that the pub now? <laughs> so, in 130 meters we have to take a left or what? Now we will switch back to English. Oh man, this is so difficult, you know, to find this in the video. Find the English and German and pick out the pieces for my German and English videos. If you think there's an easier way to do this, except for stopping the GoPro all of the time. Wow, this is actually quite a nice road. I thought it was very, very short going to these... Uh, I call it to the 100 water pipes yeah but it's a pretty nice road and a lot of trucks here I don't know where they're coming from yeah in five kilometers we're here oh, we're there already look at all these houses you know you can buy them of course they're more like ruins but what would you do here? They don't have any internet, unfortunately. I kind of thought already, you know, maybe we should go back to the older ages without internet because this internet is getting really kind of it's just destroying everything, you know. Uh, let alone also, you know, all these servers that pr produce so much, uh, what is it, carbon monoxide, uh, dioxide or whatever which is really, really bad for the environment and so you know the more videos I upload the, the worse the environment gets actually that is actually true you know and nobody really thinks about this and I think that has a big aha uh -huh, here it is yeah, well, that's where the trucks are coming from this has a big impact on on the environment I'd say or these servers just imagine you know, how many tera petabytes people upload every day to YouTube oh shit Oh man, we have to be behind this truck there, that's not so good. Oh, okay. Okay, he goes this way. Three kilometers, we have to take a left. So, uh, oh, these are olive trees, I guess, but no, no trees there. We should go slow because we have all these bumps. All these bumps coming up. Malestado. Uh, the road is in bad shape for the next 20 kilometers. Oh, that sounds very promising. <laughs> Still recording? Yes. But we're almost there, so and when we go back, I think we will just head back this way. <coughs> uh, could be right, yeah, maybe go past this mountain there, okay, this could be right, should be gravel pretty soon though, no? I think so. Yeah, a little bit chilly now. <laughs> but in my lovely leather jacket it's still warm actually. So maybe I should have worn the textile one. It still looks very, very dry. 
very, very dry. It is uh, 4.30 already, so it will take a while before we get back, actually, back home. Oh yeah, I think here, here is the junction. Coming up. Yep, I think so. This is the first vista point, I don't know what that is. But we will continue. If this was more green, it really would be like in the Alps almost here, you know? <laughs> but since it's not very green, you can almost tell, and there's olive trees, that this is, must be Spain. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I think we have to take a left here. Yeah, Los Cien Caños. Let's go in there. Okay. Ah, oh, here it is already. And there's no water. <laughs> this is crazy. There's no water here. <laughs> this is funny. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, um, 100 tubes of water. I don't know if this is going to hold here with the one and first gear. I hope so. <laughs> Never parked on this. Okay, so I don't know if I, sh I shouldn't really put out, take out my other camera because <laughs> there's nothing to film here. There's barbecue area. But maybe I should just get a little bit undressed here. So, okay. Yes, uh, we are. We have arrived here at the uh, Fuente de uh, los uh, Cien Caños, <laughs> and and I'm a, a very bit. I'm a bit surprised here. I know it's just after the summertime, but uh, I expected a little water. Come on, a little water for me here. And uh, no, there's not just one drip, 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 drop of water here, as you can see. Yeah, that's that's how it should look like, but it doesn't. Not in the late summer season, I guess. What I want what I wanted to tell you is, yeah, it's sort of very unfortunate that we don't have any water. We only have flies here, <laughs> and uh, so we have to head back home and come back some other time, some other season, when there's actually some water here. So. Bye bye. Yes, we're back here 
at the uh, spring of 100 water pipes <laughs> and uh, we will go back now back home in the direction of Malaga I guess we'll take the uh, autovia that goes down the mountains there's one toll road and one free road so hopefully I can catch the free road and yeah so we have to come back here the next time when it's or where it has actually rained or but uh, I mean if that is, is a a spring there should be water always water no maybe it's just a summer spring I don't know a uh, winter spring <laughs> let's go oh it's a beautiful beautiful mountain here isn't it but we need to go we need to go home now be a little bit chilly on the outer beer with this open. Let's close it up. Okay, I think we have to take a left here. And let's try to find the outer via. Nobody come in there. Nobody come in there. Okay, we're back in Malaga, I guess, no? so beautiful here way back now to Malaga about 75 kilometers left to go back to my home and I will take the autovia through the mountains this time because I kind of want to go back home quickly now and if I use the other route through the mountains it will take a long time okay okay I guess we have to take a left here or something I think so. Oh man. This is not really what I want wanted. Still a nice stretch of road here before we head the uh, before we hit the uh, autovia. This looks very slippery here. Ice on the road. Ice on the road. Of here the freeway is coming up now finally so we will go quickly to Malaga now I still don't see it but it should be here somewhere oh there it is there it is already Granada no Malaga see si. see si, see si. go to Malaga <coughs> oh. 
here so we don't have to pay for the toll road yeah this should be right and 80 I think all the way down to the coast and this truck is going down fast down this uh, this valley really fast oh well what can you do yeah my little lovely leather jacket it was kind of nice but unfortunately it's still too warm for this leather jacket so I still have to wait until it goes down to maybe 20 degrees outside or so and then it's more fun to use this jacket I guess I still have to use my other jacket yes I think um, that was about it <coughs> of my vlog from today Control Velocidad and Tramo <coughs> and um, I will finish this off now thanks very much for watching and I will see you next time around take care this has been a ride out